Hey, another couple of deliveries. So I'm just going to pop over to the workshop and uh, I'll give you a progress update. So back at the barn and some progress on Walt. Finally got the first coat of paint onto the high top. As you, as you know, I've been trying to do this for a long time. So it's actually a huge moment of achievement. It's only the primer and it's Rust-Oleum. Um, base coat which is a, an adhesion aid but actually it's gone on really really well I was worried I didn't have enough for the whole roof it was only a small tin a litre two-thirds paint one-third hardener um, and it didn't go on particularly well the gun wasn't brilliant I've only got a cheap gun but actually this morning I had to rush off last night because I had the kids but this morning, as I come back and take a look, I think it's gone on really well. Um, the, the roof it still shows signs of slight dimpling where I've used filler. And you can still obviously see through the primer, but it's laid down so well on the roof. You can see on the side there really nicely. And actually, I was worried yesterday when I left. The paint was still glossy wet and there were paint runs down this side. Quite bad, actually. But um, it's just perfectly smooth and matte this morning, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, I don't even know whether I need to sand and fill. There's a couple of blemishes here and there, but uh, I'm tempted just to go over with the top coat now and see what happens. Great. What I've been doing, the biggest recent changes is, is welding in this uh, new steel panel and uh, cutting out the space for the new caravan window that I've got sat out there. There's going to be a bench seat uh, just here and uh, be, it'll be a front dinette, front seat spins around so that's why I've moved the window. From here back it's going to be like fridge, uh, grill and then shower behind that and then of course the bed which goes across the back. So. I need to, one last thing on here is I need to put a welder steel beam back in here for structural strength. Got to order that for next time. It's going to be a fairly expensive bit of uh, structure. And and then I've just started doing some wooden framing for the ply lining and the insulation. I'm going to get a bit more of the sand deadening. It really does such a great job that I just want to use more of it elsewhere. I need to do the wheel arches and <coughs> some more of the roof. Um, the wood framework there's a couple of reasons for that I'm gonna use it to pack out to give to stop more of the resonating uh, vibrations from the van walls and it's going to hold the insulation in place but it's also going to be something for me to screw the ply lining to when I get to that stage I've kept this section and you can see the same on this side clear because actually the bed head is gonna sink uh, just a few couple of inches further back towards the van wall on either side because the beds are crossed, the transverse, so that's the exact width of the rear double bed and I just needed, because I'm 6'1", I just needed that those extra couple of inches so that buys me that and I'll just have to use some use the best uh, thin uh, insulating foam I can get behind hardboard and then cover that in carpet, whatever I'm going to do at the end. Started doing a bit more framework up on the ceiling as well. These these aren't welded in yet. They are additional supports for the roof rack. That's going to be just on this side on the roof. Uh, on that side, I'm having to have a big skylight, which will be right above the bed, which I think will be really nice. I'm going to have uh, another cassette window in the rear door. At least that's the plan so far. So I'm having great fun cutting up all this. Second had loft board, insulation board, putting it in like a game of Tetris into the foam walls. Nice a lot of mess here, but um, it's that phase. Going relatively quickly. The screwing the buttons to the joists is what's taking the time, but it's important to do that to get a nice smooth lining as we go down the inside. So starting to take shape. Um, I did wrap to spray floor so that's fairly sealed. There are still a few bits that need sealing before I put uh, wheel arch covers on for example. I've got the fresh water tank here ready to go down on the floor. That actually is going to go directly here behind the driver's seat 
um, and the double seat which will be sort of here um, will sit on top of it so it'll be quite high which is a bit of a shame but um, I'll just need to work my way around that but I'm gonna have to weld steel box section to build that structure because it's got to obviously be crash proof and um, and structurally strong, you know, seat belts have got to be mounted to it. Okay. I'm going to spray rust oleum grey um, because I've got the equipment, I've got the compressor here, and it'll be a much better finish. Just testing that out of sides, I think that looks quite good. Um, so, one, once I've painted, I will cut the hole and mount that in the front, build some framework on the inside to give it some structural strength as well. This is the window from the outside, it's taking quite a lot of filler. This window's out as well. I've got a replacement caravan window, which I need, will need to weld another strip of steel panel in underneath. I've just finished the top coat of Rust-Oleum on the high roof. Hope you can see it up there. Oh, that was hard work, I tell you. Hard work just because of the juggling, really, getting up the ladders, getting the pipe up there, getting the paint mix right, something I've not done before, so it was all a bit of a question of learning on the job. The uh, compressor's just exhaling for the last time. I think it looks alright. I actually think it might need another coat. Um, but uh, I'm very pleased so far. I think once the windows are in, it'll look just like an original high top with a few imperfections here and there. So, um, yeah, I guess I should just give it a couple of minutes and then consider topping up the paint. Thankfully I've got some left. So I could do one more whip round. Looking good, I think, looking good. I know it's still glossy and it won't, obviously won't be when it's dried, but that's quite a good angle from here to see how it's laid down. The uh, adhesion aid was a real help, I think. It's a couple of patches where I had to sand back some runs, but it's, uh, it's all right. <laughs> the, the color's the thing that I wanted. Looks like the, cause it's exactly the same colour as the Florida roof, so I'm very pleased about that. Cool! So my replacement window arrived in place of the uh, big porthole that I just thought was too large. So I just need to cut through the steel and make a new framework to mount the window in the wall. That well, was another quick day, because I've got to go and get Lola. But very pleased with progress. The, uh, Perfect! Gonna drill next time. Oh, I can't wait to get past this uh, insulation board phase though. <laughs>